hi guys it's monday and let's see if you all can tell y'all see what's happening here i ain't talking about the crazy brows i'm talking about this right here can y'all see this i have pink eye guys yes the madness in casa perez does not stop you guys it's like one thing after another um not sure where i picked it up from either i picked it up from my sister or my sister picked it up for me because when i went to go pick up my mom yesterday i walked in looking like rocky had punched me in my face and my sister says oh my goodness i woke up the same exact way so who knows who picked up the cootie first but we have cootie eyes i need to let my sister know that she needs to go check herself out because um if I have pink eye, then more than likely she has it too because she had the same symptoms. Forgive the sun. Let's shine the sun for some natural light. Anywho, um, I went to one of those little minute clinics at CVS. For those of you that aren't familiar, some CVS pharmacies have minute clinics in them. And uh, they offer health care. I'm shifting around because... I swear a lady in the parking lot probably thinks I was filming her because I started off in this direction as she's getting out of her car and then I moved over to this direction so it wouldn't seem like I was videoing her and here she walks right in front of the car. So anywho, um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I went to the Minute Clinic at CVS and they're saving graces, these types of clinics. They're kind of like urgent care, but more, they're, they're, I think they're more easy access you get in faster you can set your appointment online i mean which you can do with urgent care too but i just my experience with the cvs uh minute clinics um has been good i've only gone twice but it's really good and it's covered under my insurance so it's like going to a doctor and it's an actual nurse practitioner or physician and they're taking care of you but anywho i went to the cvs minute clinic got diagnosed uh they've called in my prescription to my cvs closer to home i'm in the little town next to mine because my city doesn't have a minute clinic um but i'm gonna do some running around because i can't go to work i have to be off work for 24 hours uh because i'm contagious and um i don't feel sick so I'm trying to get some stuff done today. I'm going to go to the medical supply company and pick up a few cases of Little Dude's Supplemental Shake uh, because those are a nightmare to get delivered to my house anymore. Uh, they used to, but they don't do it anymore. So now you actually have to physically go to the warehouse and pick it up. And since I'm off, I may as well do that. That way I don't have to take uh, off early from um, work to do that here in the next few weeks but i'm gonna do some running around um and thought you guys might want to come with me i am currently in the parking lot of um oh let me move my camera before somebody thinks i'm filming them did y'all see that did y'all see what's what's over here um i'm currently in the parking lot of right there, the dollar tree here and uh where i'm at so i'm gonna go in there and sneak a peek and look around just because it's super early and um the medical supply company is not even open yet so i'm gonna kill some time here then head on over into oak cliff oak cliff texas uh and grab those shakes and then who knows what else i don't know but we'll see y'all come with me <laughs> I want to get some Easter stuff because we're celebrating Easter early since little dude will be with his dad this holiday. So I want to get some stuff because we're trying, we're either aiming for this Sunday or the Sunday after because we got to do our own thing too. And he's still young enough where he enjoys it. So I'm trying to take advantage of those years where he still wants to do stuff like this. This Dollar Tree is in pretty bad shape. I don't come to this one often. And now I remember why. 
there's not a lot of stock because I'm stuck because it's all in the boxes. Granted, it's Monday, but this looks like this most times. Not much on the shelves to look at. That's disheartening. I do need some more of these house shoes. These are some of the most comfortable little house shoes I've ever had. And I lost one. I can only find one, so I'm gonna grab another pair of these. Yeah, not much else. Let's keep looking. I can't get through some of the aisles because this is what's happening here. I'm getting a little anxious. I'm probably just gonna leave. You know what, folks? As I'm sitting here stressing out about how the last few weeks have played out for me and my little family, I see things like this and it puts my complaints into perspective. Yeah, things have been rocky, but I haven't had to have a an ambulance come to help me or my little one, so I need to stop complaining. Apparently something's gone wrong here at a dialysis center and prayers to whoever these people are here to help. It's just sad, but very eye-opening. Okay, not the best angle for my turkey goblins here, but um, I just pulled out of the parking lot here in the little shopping center where I was in that anxiety inducing Dollar Tree and the Panda Express across from it is packed. It's 9.30 in the morning. Who's eating Panda Express at 9.30 in the morning? Well, a lot of people apparently, but I didn't know Panda was open that early. Hmm. You learn something new every day. I'm on my way to pick up my prescription and then heading on over to Oak Cliff. And I have a hankering for eating some chicken fried steak and mashed potatoes, gobble gobble, from um, this uh, little cafeteria that's been there forever. Not really a cafeteria. Well, I guess it's kind of a cafeteria because you go through the line and order what you want. But it's a restaurant here in Oak Cliff called Charcoal Broiler and it's been there forever and if you are from the Dallas Fort Worth area and you've ever been in Oak Cliff and gone to this place y'all know I'm talking about the restaurant with the big giant cow on top of the roof or steer whatever it is but uh, I'm, I'm a little tempted to go eat there for lunch because their chicken fried steak is so good I'm not good at eating alone though and I have a feeling that if I try and vlog with you guys they're gonna call they're gonna call the authorities or maybe they won't call the authorities, but they're going to be looking at me funny. So I don't know what I'm going to do, but I know I'm getting hungry and I know I need to eat because I took my medication this morning on an empty stomach. So, I mean, I had planned on going to work, so I would have already had a breakfast or something. So, yeah, I'm going to go get my prescription. And snoop around in CVS now. CVS is kind of tempting to me because sometimes they have like really good sales on perfumes and makeup and stuff like that. I don't need any of that. When's the last time y'all saw me wear makeup? But um, I'll try and be good. Try and be good. I'm hungry, guys. I want good food. Either that or Norma's. Again, if y'all are in Dallas Fort Worth area, y'all know about Norma's uh, Cafe, little diner. Been going there since I was seven years old. It's our go-to spot, me and my family, and my boys love it. My son, my oldest, misses it like crazy. Um, but let's see what we continue to get ourselves into. Oh, Mr. Paleta guy, are you trying to get killed? Okay, guys, I have been running around all stinking morning long. My prescription has been a nightmare, but I am in... Oak Cliff, um, and I wanted to show you guys a little restaurant I wanted to eat at, but they don't open until 11, and
and it's only 10 a.m. so I think I'm gonna go ahead and head on to Norma's I probably won't eat there because like I said I don't like eating alone I'll probably just pick up something for me and my mom and take it home but I wanted to show you guys the cow I'm talking about okay here it comes y'all see it <laughs> That, my friends, is the Charcoal Broiler Steakhouse. Did y'all see it? Okay, guys, I'm going to share something with y'all, but y'all can't judge me. This school right here, you see these stairs right there? Um, I kind of pushed somebody off the stairs when I went there. Okay. So in my defense, I didn't just push her down the stairs because I'm a heathen or anything, but I pushed her down the stairs because she was a jerk. I have never been able to tolerate a bully ever. Even if you weren't messing with me, it was just really, really hard for me to contain my no, she didn't or no, he didn't issues. <laughs> and back in the day, I had no problem going one on one with dudes. I think a suicidal bird just slammed into my car oh it was creepy crawling on top of my car but anywho I I had a real I was I was fearless back in the day and and like I said I wasn't a jerk I wasn't a bully I just remember I was on day three it was the third day of school and um I wasn't even supposed to be going to that school but because I didn't want to go to the school I was supposed to go to because my brother had marred our family name and I knew I was going to walk in there and be known as Jesse's little sister. I didn't want to go there. So we used my aunt's address and I ended up at that school and I went in with the best of intentions. I was going to be a little darling. I really was. And it was day three of school and we were prepping for a pep rally and the little cheerleaders were in their little purple uniforms and one of them in particular was being really nasty to a slightly chubby girl. And I don't care what she would have been picking on the girl for. If she would have been picking on the girl because of her race, her clothes, her height, size, whatever. She just happened to be messing with her. Just being real nasty about her weight. You know, just calling her names. And the girl wasn't even bothering her. She was down there with a group of her own little friends. And this little snotty cheerleader was just being a bee, you know. And... I said something, she said something, I said something, she said something. Before I knew it, I've never, back in the day, mind you, I'm 45 years old, but back in the day, I was never the type who did all this me, 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 me. If a confrontation happened, I didn't want to do all that blah, 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 blah. I wanted to hit and get it over with. And unfortunately, a lot of girls are all about me, 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 me. No. My brother helped raise a... Uh, the the little tomboy in me so i learned right away i just no let's just get it done get it over with and move on uh and she was talking a lot of smack you know like little girls talk and she just got on my nerves and she booby bumped me i didn't even have boobs back then but she she did she booby bumped me and i pushed her you know, that's how most fights start, if you can recall your playground days and your school ground days. But I pushed her. It was not my fault that she was teetering on the edge of the stairs, and I all saw the stairs. She fell down to the second landing. We were at the very top, and she kind of rolled down those first and landed at the middle. And um, she didn't break or hurt anything other than her pride, but I got kicked out of that school on day four and ended up having to go to the school that I didn't want to go to. And then I end up at that school with a reputation of being a troublemaker at that school. So yeah, I kind of dug my own hole. But anywho, I just wanted to share that with you guys because after all these years, mind you, I'm 45 years old. After all these years, every time I pass that school, I chuckle. And was it right no, but was it wrong? Not entirely. Because if you are going to be a jerk bully, you have to expect that someday, one day, somebody's going to call you out on your crap. And that little girl that was getting picked on looked sad and looked embarrassed. And it just, it 
does did something to me and it still does it still does oh, i'm not going to push nobody down the stairs nowadays but it just happened and i wanted to share that with y'all because i was in the neighborhood and i was going down memory lane and i thought i'd share that with y'all but i am not that person anymore i can be but I'm still a bully buster. That's what they used to call me in school, a bully buster, because I always got in people's business. It wasn't even my fight. But if I saw that somebody was being really harassed or messed with and you made them cry, oh, you're going to have a problem with me, whether you know me or not. But anyway, wanted to share that with you guys. I am in the parking lot of Dee Dee's Discounts. Uh, I finally got everything taken care of that I needed to take care of. It's 70-something degrees at 1030 in the morning. Um... But uh, I'm going to go into Dee Dee's Discounts. If you guys don't know what Dee Dee's is, it's like Ross's little ugly sister. Uh, it's even a deeper discounted store than Ross. So I haven't been here in a while because I haven't been in this part of Oak Cliff in a while. Uh, but it's really early and I just don't want to go home because I'm not sick. So let me show you guys what I'm talking about. See if it's familiar to y'all. So that's Dee Dee's. Do you guys have a Dee Dee's? Um, let me show you guys the milk that I talk about. I get little dude and also gave me a reason to put my phone down because it seems like every time I'm trying to record today, people cross my path and I don't want them to think that I am recording them because a lot of people would be uncomfortable about that and I don't want to have to push anybody down the stairs. But anywho, um, this is the... Um, the um, supplemental shake that little dude drinks and this crap is so expensive he gets four cases a month he drinks he drinks up to three a day two for sure and the reason he has to drink it is because with his um with his being underweight at any given moment uh him being able to fall into malnourishment really really fast and with his food version and texture version this just supplements when he doesn't eat and can't eat now he eats really really well with me dinner wise uh lunch when we're together on the weekends but breakfast is this consists of this during the week and uh lunch he picks on at school doesn't matter what i send doesn't matter what they offer at school so he gets another one after school and then he has an awesome dinner because he eats really well i've already learned what he will eat and then right before bed he has another one so this is what's keeping my little dude healthy but yeah and with his gi issues it has to be fiber. But yeah, these two cases right here were $170. And he gets four. But she didn't have four in stock today. So I just went ahead and got the two that she did have in stock. But let's go into Dee Dee's and see what they got. Ooh, security. I wonder if they're going to say stop recording. Hello, welcome to Dee Dee's. Hi there. Purses galore. So beautiful. Oh, the leather, guys. The leather smell. Look at these prices. So awesome. The leather smell. So awesome. That's cute. Oh. Oops. Goodness gracious, I can't reach it. Okay, if I had a little girl, I'd make her all about the butterflies. Look at that. That is so pretty. Almost fooled me. I thought it was a Tory Birch. So pretty. You are kidding me. Look at that. So nice. Look at the bling, but no offense to my Oak Cliff peeps, because I grew up all around here. That's how you know you're in Oak Cliff. Mm, mm, mm. Pretty little baubles. Okay, I saw this one and thought, hey, that's kind of unique and kind of cute. And then... <laughs> what in the heck 
is this? It looks like a friggin' basketball. I want it just because it's so ridiculous. Look at the clasp. Let's open this and see what it looks like inside. I swear, if a chicken jumps out, I'm gonna freak out. Okay, now if y'all have been with me a while, y'all know I appreciate the strange and unique, and this is definitely strange and unique. I would be embarrassed carrying it, but it is such a little conversation piece. Close, close egg. Okay, this is utterly ridiculous. How funny. This would be awesome self-defense. Can you imagine if somebody tried to attack you, you can just swing and concuss them? Look at that. That's okay. I kind of I kind of get it. I kind of get it. Hmm. Ooh, look at this beauty. So pretty. I need to get out of here. I need to get away from these. Okay, another strange but interesting bag caught my eye. Now this one I kind of like. It reminds me of granny bags from the 40s and 50s. Oh, let's see. Lots of perfumes. I'm still desperately trying to find the Mariah Carey Ultra Pink. And I can't find it anymore. It's so hard to find anymore. $11.99 though, that's pretty good for a perfume. Lots to choose from. I wish they had samplers. You could sniff. Lots of inventory. Lots of makeup. And I always like to look through here because every now and then like at Burlington you come across like um, Too Faced and stuff like that. You come across some top name brands sometimes sometimes mm, something smells very pretty over here those are nice shut up a Selena shirt. I don't like that queen is over her eyes. If she were truly the queen, you would respect her as the queen that she is and you wouldn't have done that. But I'm definitely going to look for Selena merchandise here in my fluffy size. Oh goodness. My heart. My heart is going pitter pat. I did not dare look at the shoes because I didn't want temptation. And look what I come up against. Wind chimes. Do y'all know me at all? Look. A little doggy for my little thrifted friend. He could have a companion. How cute. Look at that rooster. Look at that. Look at these chimes. Let's see what it sounds like. Ooh, that's a heavy tinkle. So pretty. Oh my goodness. I don't have any more ledge space for, um, Wind chimes. Ooh, do these spin? Look, they spin. It's like a little wind doohickey. You stick them in the ground and they spin in the wind. That's tempting. How much are they? $10. Oh, why did I come in here? Why, why, why? It's kind of pretty. Look at that. Candles. I may have to take a sniff. Look, when I was looking for a little mirrored box, I couldn't find one for my wipies. And here they have some. $9.99. I paid 20 something. No, that was for my 
I paid more than ten dollars. I know that. So pretty. Look at that. That is really pretty. Look at this stuff. Look at that. So nice. Kind of pretty, it has little sparklies on it. Hmm? Actual little bling on it. Look, you guys. Oh, stores like this are so tempting for me. The prices are so good, and they have the cutest things. Look at this. Look at that, and they're only $8. Oh, there's more, look. Look at that. Oh, wow. Do I know anybody with a birthday or anything coming up? So nice. Oh, goodness gracious, look. Look. Look at these. Look at these. Wow. Those are so pretty. So nice. Also another thing about these stores, I kind of have a love-hate relationship with them because of this. Like there's a mishmash of things all over the shelves, all mixed up. But then at the same time, I like it because it's kind of like thrift stores where you keep looking and you never know what little treasure you're going to find. It's pretty, pretty fun to dig through. I want new bedding for my big dude's room since I'm redoing it, but I wanted something in like a purple, there's a lavender, something pretty, something with some purple because I want to do purple and gray or purple and silver, some combos of that, and I'm looking, but I don't see anything yet it looks blue on camera but this is kind of a lavender with gray so it's just the comforter though I wish it was showing true to color because this is what I'm looking for but it's just the comforter Even something like this would be nice, like a purple and white, because I have a lot of white that I'm going to be putting in there with the milk glass and stuff that I want to bring in. I think the white, purple, and silver would be pretty, so I'm going to keep snooping. I might get lucky. Look, a little bonsai tree. It reminds me of Karate Kid. Goodness because I have taught my son the tricks of the dig. He'd be in here all afternoon. He would be in here all afternoon looking at every little thing. What the heck is this? See, these are pretty. This is something like I'm looking for. This color. Like if I could do this pretty silver with some deep purple, I think it would put together the look I'm going for pretty well. $9.99 for two panels? Really? Hmm. Okay, I am so colorblind because compared to these right here, this is brown. That is silver. Hmm. They're really thin though. I want some um, blackouts. Offer just a little bit 
of shielding from the sun because girl needs it to be dark to sleep. See if they have any blackouts. Ooh, so soft and pretty. Bath mat. Love it. It's purple. It's showing up blue. Goodness gracious. I am home, guys. My battery died at Dee Dee's. Uh, so I was charging it on my last few stops. And I went to Dollar General and I went to the thrifty station on the way home. I was on the lookout for the James Dean print that I had seen there the last time I went to the little thrifty station because I wanted to pick it up for a friend and it was gone, figures. But of course it didn't keep me from picking up some other things there. So uh, let me uh, show you guys, well, let me show you guys what I got at um, Dollar Tree after all, hang on. Even though it was a disaster in that store, I did go ahead and just pick up some just basic little um, Easter things for a little dude. Um, gotta have a chocolate bunny, so got him a Russell Stover. No Easter is complete without a stuffy. Uh, usually he ends up playing fetch with the cat with these, so a two for treat. Treat for two. The little shiny brass. Got one of these little foam dart blasters. He doesn't need any more stuff like this, but I wanted to fill out the little bucket. I got this Lego cup that I'm going to fill with the excess candy that doesn't get put into the eggs. And then he'll have like a little candy cup plus it's Lego. I got this little white bucket with a little duckling on it. Uh, I'm expecting here very soon for him to tell me that he's too old. I hope not, but... I could be what's happening. I bought him a little bubble tray because bubbles are fun outside. Got Avengers bubbles for it. Got him a tub of cotton candy because he loves cotton candy. Is it really dark? I had to position you guys in a way that, you know, the only way I could. I got two little packs of eggs. I usually buy a whole bunch of them, but I didn't this go around because... How much candy can a kid eat? You know, I don't allow him to eat a whole bunch of candy. Uh, so I figured this will be enough just for the fun of hunting them down. Got him some dots, which he loves. The Pop Rocks, which he loves. Uh, he's not really, really big on chocolate per se, but he does appreciate a Hershey. So I got him these little Hershey individuals. Then the only non- Easter things I picked up were these hook and loop fasteners and I hope these are the sticky ones the self-adhesive ones because what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to um, keep a mirror I mounted on a mirror flush to the big mirror and the way I have it set up it keeps kind of leaning forward and I don't want it to lean forward I want it to stay like sucked on and stuck on to the other mirror without having to use glue or anything so I'm hoping these little velcro things work I don't know. It worked in my head. I did get my slippers and then I come home and found the other one. So now I have two pairs. The other one's pretty dirty and ratty though. So one more wouldn't hurt. Then the only other thing I got at Dollar Tree was this big old pizza cutter from Betty Crocker. I have one, but the little wheel is a little wonky and uh, I am going to fix my oven myself, attempt it, um, which is gonna be another video. Uh, I didn't get to videotape myself wa fixing my washer, but I want to have you guys watch me fix my oven. I think it's just the coils. Uh, so I've already ordered the part and the part will be here in the next few days. And then that's going to be my fixer upper video. And the first thing I'm going to make is homemade pizza. So I wanted a new pizza cutter. Okay. So then I went to the thrifty station. Like I said, I've been running around all morning long trying to get my prescription and they had to transfer it to a pharmacy in Oak Cliff, which was perfectly convenient because that's where y'all saw I was anyway. So I finally found the one bottle of medicated eye drops in within 20 miles of me. And this is the second time this has happened to me at CVS. When little dude needed his Brom fed for his flu, they didn't have it at my CVS and they could order it and have it sent either to them in three to four days or have it 
uh, they could search for it at another CVS within 15 or 20 miles. I'm like, what is going on here, CVS? Y'all can't have medication on hand. But I was able to find the one bottle within 20 miles for the stinky eye. And I've since medicated myself. But, um, Thrifty Mart, Thrifty Station, Thrift Station, the thrift store here in my town. Uh, I picked up a dollar book, We Were the Mulvaney's by Joyce Carol Oates. It was one of book, blah, blah, Oprah's book club choices. If you want to know what it's about, ask me. I will clue y'all in because my phone is already trying to tell me that my memory's full. I went ahead and picked these up. Now, these were there the last time I went, and I think they were in my video, uh, but I left them behind. Oh, I'm sorry. They were, this one was three bucks. And what it is, let go. It's a candle. Oh, there it is. <laughs> like they lied. It's a non scented candle. I wonder if somebody made these, you know, just poured the wax in, but little $3 candle, little birdhouse. So cute. And I thought it was adorable when I saw it last time, but, you know, I didn't need one. But they put out another one. Another little birdhouse. This one was $2.50. It says no candle. Uh, but I thought it was cute. And I'll just drop in a little candle in there. So aren't they pretty for spring? I thought they were adorable. So grab that. I'm trying to hurry before little dude gets home from school. Because I don't want him to see the Easter stuff. And I've been home a while. I got home pretty early. But I had to let the phone charge some. And I had to upload the first part of this video. Because my memory was not working with me. Uh, so I hope I can splice it together okay. So a few other things I picked up there. These are so pretty. I, I couldn't resist them. They're these little, I don't know if they're hand blown or they're just made to look hand blown. But it's this pretty green, blue and yellow little bud vases. They're really nice and heavy. I like that sound. And they were each $2.00. $2 a piece is not bad, but when I added them together at $6, probably not something I would have done had I not just wanted a little retail therapy, but they're really cute and I already know where they're going to go. The only other thing I picked up was this Dutch oven, stainless steel Dutch. This was $4 and I scrounged around until I found a lid. So, I don't know if the lid belonged to it, but it fits perfectly. And the metal looks identical. So, I guess it belonged to it. I'm not sure. So, for $7, I have this nice stainless steel Dutch oven. Okay. Now, the other stuff that I want to show you guys is uh, the stuff that I scored at Dollar General. I went to Dollar General just because I hadn't been. And one of my friends had tagged me in a Facebook video of somebody who had done a Dollar General haul. And there was a lot of really cute Mickey Mouse spring stuff. And I love Mickey Mouse. And I did find a few little Mickey Mouse things, but very similar to things that I had already purchased. So I just kind of looked around and you guys, I'm so glad I looked around. Okay, now I found these, which I have been looking for at thrift stores. It's the six tier hanger for pants. And I need these for little dude's uh, jeans because y'all know I go crazy buying him all kinds of jeans at the thrift store. And I never have enough hangers to hang without all the clothes being smushed in. So I look for these. I haven't found any at the thrift store in a really long time, but I got two of them and these were $4 each. At the thrift store, they're like $2.99. Um, but sometimes it's hit or miss. Sometimes it's only four or five. These are the actual six tier for $4 each. So I got two of those. Ooh, hang on y'all. Let me get into here. I found some can't resist Prell. I love my Prell. I can't find it at my uh, little Mexican grocery store anymore. So I was really happy that they sell it and I grabbed that. I sniffed this new Dial Silk and Seaberry body wash. I don't know what a Seaberry is, but it friggin' smells magnificent. It is so friggin' awesome and springy and clean. Can't wait to wash the bod with this tonight. Um, grab that. I think that was like $2.50. Now, I know y'all are my friends. I know y'all are my family. So y'all would probably never tell me, girl, what is up with your skin? But out in the sunlight in the earlier part of this video, you can see all the sins, my breakouts, my scars, my dead skin, all kinds of things happening here. 
and I wanted to try something new. Granted, I haven't been taking care of my skin the way I should have. Uh, with winter having just, you know, gone off, I got all kinds of dead skin and I stopped using my little, my little electric brush on my face uh, quite a few weeks ago. I washed my face in a shower, of course, but there's dead stuff you got to get off. So I haven't been doing that. So I need to get my skin game back in check. And I wanted to go ahead and try this charcoal facial cleanser. And I've seen these, uh, this is compared to the Biore Deep Pore Charcoal Cleanser. It's a charcoal cleanser. Gets all up in there and gets all the cooties out. So I got that. Then the only other things that I picked up there, before I show you what I'm really excited about, were two LA Color blushes. These were a dollar. And this Black Radiance lipstick, which you can't really tell the color of because of the lighting, but it's just a beautiful deep red. I'm still trying reds. Now let me show you guys what I'm really excited about before this friggin' camera shuts off on me. Y'all know I was looking for bedding, right? Y'all know I wanted something in deep purples and grays or maybe a deep purple and white to work with what I'm going to be doing in this room. And I couldn't find it at Dee Dee's and I hadn't been able to find any at Target or Walmart. I hadn't gone to Burlington. You guys, I don't know how well the color is coming off. It is not exactly an eggplant purple, but it's a deep purple with this pretty little white scrolling on it. It's going to work so awesome with what I got planned for this room. It's a comforter and two shams for $30, which I thought was pretty good, considering this kind of stuff is kind of pricey anywhere else. Oops, hang on y'all, sorry. <laughs> Goodness gracious. <gasps> I found the sheets. The pattern is not exactly the same as the comforter, but it's gonna work and it's the same color. So I got this, I'm really excited about. It's a flat, the fitted, and two pillowcases. And then I told you guys I wanted to do some silver or gray. I was aiming for silver on the curtains because what I want to do is I want to incorporate incorporate, incorporate some heather gray or some silver shams to the bedding to match that. I found some. I remember I was telling you guys I wanted some blackouts. Blackouts. Now the sheet set was 14 something. The comforter was 30 something. And these were $9.99 just like the ones at Dee Dee's, but Dee Dee's were really thin. Now these claim they're blackout. Let's see how blackout they are, but they were only $9.99. And if you can tell, they have a little silver shimmer to them. So it's looking good in my head. I hope it looks good in action. Now the only other thing that I picked up there that I got really happy about was this little sucker. I have been wanting one of these for my little coffee corner. I see them at Walmart. I see them at Target. I'm not spending no $25, $30 on a little coffee cup holder. I'm not. I can find one at the thrift store to save my life. I had no idea Dollar General sold them, and it's the color I wanted, and it spins, and it's the shape I wanted, and this was $10. Now, the tag isn't on here, but trust me, it was $10. Cheapest I've ever seen them. So, I'm going to go set this up here in just a little bit. I'm going to... I don't want to make my bed yet, because with the pink eye, I don't want to jack up my new... um my new um pillowcases i've washed all of these i washed all these yesterday um my phone is doing something weird i washed all my pillowcases yesterday but until i'm 24 hours on the antibiotic uh drops i'm probably gonna have to rewash them again but that's everything i'm gonna go ahead and hide all of the easter things um and uh there was more I wanted to say, but with the whole phone acting wonky and losing charge and all that, I, I, I forgot what some of the stuff I wanted to say, but just chit-chat stuff. But anywho, I'm going to hide little dude's Easter stuff and um, just organize here. That way when he comes home, we can get down to some mommy uh, baby time. It's beautiful outside. I'll probably let him go outside and play for a little while. It's still muddy because of the rainstorm yesterday, but we're going to have some mama kid time. So till my next go around, you guys, I hope you guys have an awesome week. Y'all pray that whatever juju somebody put on us goes away. Because if I weren't a God-fearing woman, I'd be convinced somebody has a voodoo doll of me somewhere. But till my next go around, I love y'all bunches. Have a good week. Bye.